Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this pattern in Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Um, I'm going to leave artboards unselected, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, and then background content set to transparent. I'm going to go ahead and click on create. As to start with, I'm just going to get to my default colors, hitting D on the keyboard here. That will give you black as your foreground, white as your background color. To create this pattern, I need to first uh, set up my document. And with this document, we are going to be using um, some smart objects. So to start with, I'm going to use the rectangle shape tool. If you right click, you can select uh, the rectangle tool here. And then I'm just going to hold down shift and we'll just drag out a square here using the move tool V on the keyboard. Just gonna bring it to the center here. And then I'm actually gonna rotate it 45 degrees. So I like to use the uh, free transform tool, which is command or control T. And that just brings up the um, angle here. So I'm gonna hit 45 degrees. We'll go ahead and accept that change there. And then uh, with these, I'm just going to um, size it to the size of our document here, making sure that we are even there. Bringing that up, holding shift, and just making sure, uh, we'll hold shift on this side, just making sure we are sized appropriately to our square. So we look here, our points here, are sized appropriately to our square. Uh, so now I have it sized um, to my canvas here. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to um, rotate it back 45 degrees. So we'll hit that command or control T here. We'll go back to our 45 degrees here. And then I'm going to uh, convert this to a smart object. Um, I like to work with um, more of the square versus the diamond when I'm dealing with smart objects. So that's why I'm going to uh, convert it to a smart object at this step. So to do that, you're just going to go right click, convert to smart object. And then uh, with this, we can rotate this again now that it's a smart object. We'll go command or control T. We'll bring it back to our 45 degrees here. And then with this one, um, we are going to uh, duplicate it and repeat it in all of the four corners. So to do that, you can right click uh, to uh, duplicate layer, or you can use the keyboard shortcut command or control J to get your duplicate layer. And then you can easily drag it to the corner. I like to use the transform tools. So we'll go command or control T. In this case, I'm going to bring my X value to zero and my Y value to zero, and that will bring it to the corner there. And then you'd want to uh, continue with that step, duplicate it, bring it to the corner, and then continue to repeat it around your uh, square here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I do have an action uh, that I like to use for this one. And it is part of my uh, pattern design, uh, Photoshop actions for pattern design. I'm gonna switch over to button mode here. And the one I'm gonna use is uh, four corners. And I just wanna demonstrate this one here. And uh, what it does is it automatically um, repeats it in the four corners. So I love using actions when I can to speed up my workflow process. And this is one uh, demonstration of uh, one of the actions I use to easily repeat it in the four corners uh, to create this um, type of pattern here. So now that we have uh, the first part of our pattern set up, I'm going to uh, double click into my smart object. Remember we saved it as a square, so it's no longer the rotated diamond here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that layer here. Let's just go ahead and create a new layer. And then I'm going to divide this canvas into four sections. So let's go ahead and create a guide. So I'm gonna go view, guides, new guide layout. And for this one, we want four columns and then you can just stick rows at one. And we'll go ahead and click on okay there. And then I'm going to use the uh, rectangle marquee tool. And I just want a, a quarter of this space here. 
So I'm just going to draw out that rectangle and then I'm going to uh, fill my layer with my foreground color. That is Option Delete for Mac users or Alt Backspace for PC to fill that area in with the foreground color. And then I'm going to go ahead and deselect those pixels, Command or Control D there. With this layer that we created, I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And then we are going to uh, set up our uh, document here. So let's go ahead and clear our guides. Going to view guides, clear guides here. And then I'm going to access the move tool V on the keyboard. And then we'll just center this object here. I do have an action that I like to use, um, which will automatically center it as well. To set up the repeat that we want, we need to uh, bring this object into all the four corners here. And so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what our uh, canvas size actually is. So I'm going to go to image canvas size and we see that we have a width of 850 by a height of 850. And that will just give us our values of what we need to um, move things to. So we'll go ahead and click on OK here. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. And then we are going to um, move it. So I'm going to go Command or Control T to get my transform tools here. And we want it in the upper corner. So we'll go 0 and 0 here. And then we'll continue to duplicate this Command or Control J, Command or Control T. And then this time we want it our X value over here, which we found out is 850. And then we'll accept that there. We'll do the same thing, Command or Control J, Command or Control T. This time we want to move it down 850 for the Y value. So we'll enter that there. And then we have one more duplicate, Command or Control J, Command or Control T. And we're going to move it to this corner here. So in this case, we have a X value of 0. We'll leave our Y value of 850 and select OK. So that's the initial part of our pattern. And then I am going to uh, make a duplicate of our original uh, center object. So let's go Command or Control J, and then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. So let's go Command or Control T. We'll go ahead and enter in 90 degrees. And then for this one, we want it positioned in the top and then on each of the sides and the bottom here as well. So let's go ahead and move this one to the top. Command or Control T. So we'll bring this, um, X is going to stay in the same value here, Y we're going to bring up to zero. We'll go ahead and duplicate that layer, Command or Control J, Command or Control T. And then we'll bring it down to the bottom. So we're going to go down to 850 here. Okay. And then let's duplicate that layer, Command or Control J, Command or Control T. We'll bring it to this side here. So we'll go X as 0. And then Y is going to be that middle value for 25. And then we have one more duplicate, Command or Control J, Command or Control T. And then we'll move it to the side here. So we will go to 850. And we'll accept that there. So now we have the, um, the start of our pattern. And now the next step is just to go in and edit that smart object. So we'll click on one of these um, smart objects here. I'm going to go ahead and clear these guides. So view, guide, clear guides here. And then I can just uh, turn off the visibility of that layer there. And we'll just go ahead and create a new layer here. So let's go ahead and add some guides. I'm going to go View, Guides, New Guide Layout. Uh, for this, we are going to do four columns. And then I'm going to bump my rows up to, uh, let's try six rows here. And then uh, just make a note that um, because of the way that we have set up our pattern is that you're going to get a little bit of overlap on those rectangles. So it's best to... Um, not necessarily fill this entire space, just kind of leave some of the ends um, clear because of that overlap factor of our pattern. So I'm just going to use the uh, marquee tool here and then we'll just draw out a rectangle um, using that space there. And then I'm just going to fill that with my foreground color, which is Option Delete for Mac or Alt Backspace for PC. And then I'm going to go ahead and deselect those pixels, Command or Control D here. 
using the move tool V on the keyboard. Let's just align it to add that guide there and then let's duplicate that layer, Command or Control J. And then we will move it and then we'll, let's align it to that guide there. So now we have uh, two um, rectangle objects here. And then let's go ahead and see how that is looking in the uh, final aspect of our pattern. And then let's go ahead and save this uh, smart object and see how it actually looks in our final um, project. So let's go Command and Control S to save this. We'll go Command and Control W to exit out. So we see that the smart object has been updated. And then let's uh, go ahead and save this smart object. Command or Control S to save it. And then we'll close out Command or Control W here. And now we have our final um, pattern here. So to define this as a pattern, I'm going to go to Edit, Define Pattern. Uh, you can give your pattern a name and just click on OK. And then here in the Patterns panel, you'll see that newly created pattern here. If you do not have your Patterns panel open, you can always go to Window and select Patterns here. Also from the Patterns panel, to save a pattern, you can click this plus icon and it will also uh, save a new pattern swatch here. So let's go ahead and test out this pattern in a new document. So I'm going to go to File New. We'll go ahead for uh, 3,600 pixels uh, by 3,600 pixels, uh, which is the size of typical size of digital scrapbook paper. So we can go ahead and click on OK there. And then let's go ahead and see how our pattern looks. So you can just drag it from the Patterns panel, and it will create a pattern fill layer here. And then let's go ahead and add a solid color adjustment layer. We'll go ahead and leave that at black for the moment. Let's duplicate this layer, Command or Control J, and then we'll double click. Let's make this one white, so just FFF here. And then I'm going to uh, drag that to be our background color. And then with this top, top one, I'm just going to right click to create a clipping mask here. And then you can uh, easily change out the colors. So if we want to try uh, something else, maybe more of a coral you can see how it looks for kind of a two-tone effect or maybe we try more of a mint here um, and we can see our pattern here and then with our pattern adjustment layer here you can just double click and then you do have the option to scale it so if we want to scale it down let's try 50 percent a little bit smaller scale here and then you do have the option to uh, reposition your pattern um, when this dialog box is open. You can always get back to the original snap to origin there. But that is an option for you there. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK here. And then uh, to save this as digital scrapbook paper, you'll just go to File, Export, Export As. Under File Settings, uh, from the drop-down, you'll want to make sure JPEG is selected. And then you can bring up your quality um, if you want here. Just note uh, that uh, when you increase your quality, it does increase the file size here. And then under Color Space, I just like to make sure Embed Color Profile is selected. And then you can just click to export your uh, document. Jumping back into our original document, uh, what's nice with how we set it up with Smart Objects is now you can go back and you can edit it if you want. So let's go ahead and jump in to our Smart Object. We'll double click here again. And then uh, this time, let's say we just do uh, one of these. So let's just turn off the visibility on one of these. And then let's just go ahead and center it there. And then uh, we'll save that here, Command or Control S. Command or Control W to close it. We'll do the same thing here. Command or Control S to save it and Command or Control W to close it. And now you have uh, just the single line versus the double line. We can save this pattern here. We'll just hit that plus icon in the patterns panel, give it a name, clicking on OK. And then we'll just jump back over in here and we can test our pattern here as well. So. I like to do uh, set it up the way that we did. That way you can um, use that document now as a template and you can create variations of this pattern from it just by editing those smart objects.
So it's just a nice uh, practice to use. Uh, definitely use smart objects uh, when creating your uh, documents. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this fun uh, pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.